Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europe in Naples, and today I have this very attractive 1999 Bentley Arnage. Uh, this is, uh, well, you know, I don't know. It's a green label car. It's BMW powered, but I'm not sure that in 99 green and red labels were a thing. I think that came out in 2000 in the uh, even stronger midst of the custody battle between BMW and Volkswagen over the life of Bentley and Rolls-Royce. Uh, in 99, this Arnage was the first new Rolls-Royce Bentley, you know, model in, in, what, 19 years? I think the last redesign they had was in the 80s. Uh, so this was essentially an all new car for them. Uh, you know, it came in the midst of, again, that big custody battle, which uh, essentially, uh, Volkswagen uh, did take the day with Bentley, but BMW did end up with Rolls-Royce. So uh, the good news about this car is it's powered by the BMW. And I know some guys out there, oh my God, I have to have that 6.75 liter, you know, 1950s era uh, turbocharged uh, British V8, you know, based on a US, uh, US engine. But this one is actually maintainable. And that makes a very big difference in these cars. Uh, you know, the uh, V8 BMW is something that the average Joe can keep going uh, with a little bit of spit and duct tape and, you know, super glue and whatever else it takes. Uh, this car is from an estate. A nice uh, older gentleman who passed away owned it. Uh, his uh, surviving wife brought it to us. Uh, you know, the car is not a Class A, it's a Class B. Um, it's clean, it's nice, it's proper, it goes down the road well, it's got very low miles, but it's got some issues that are going to make it an absolute bargain. So, if you're looking to get one of these things, you know, way under book, then keep watching. Uh, you can see again, it's finished in triple black, uh, it's got uh, absolutely gorgeous handwork Bentley grille there, uh, you know, Xenon headlights up front, big chrome. Uh, alloy wheels, you know, dinner plates for brakes behind them, lovely chrome accents and trim around the uh, the bottom, the top. You know, it's all Bentley. It's all Rolls. It's, you know, what a, what a British car is supposed to be, just an excess of materials and, uh, you know, other refinements that just make it uh, an imposing figure going down the road. Let's start here inside the trunk with this little flip-up winged Bentley badge and see what we got. All right, so a nice big trunk. You're gonna be able to fit lots of, you know, snazzy picnic baskets in there. You can have the house servants put them in, some fine vintages from the shaller, uh, shaller from the cellar. And, uh, you know, you're gonna be all right with uh, the room you have back there. So just lovely. I don't think you're gonna be able to fit any oars for your, for your crew. All right, in the back, we have a lovely, incredibly gorgeous uh, Connolly hides in black. Very nice. You don't see black on black in these cars too often. You see it's got a leather. I'm fighting the sun and the glare here. Sorry, it's really obnoxious, but I'm trying. Uh, nice, big, beautiful uh, headliner in leather. Lovely. Now, this should be wood. So this is going again to why this car is going to be a bargain. Uh, it is wood, but it's been wrapped very nicely, I might add, by the guy who built a very expensive custom hot rod for the fella. Uh, it is wrapped in black leather, so it does give the car kind of an imposing figure, but uh, it's not the wood that it's supposed to be. I suspect the wood might have decayed a little bit, degraded, and, uh, you know, that was the answer. So, uh, yeah, again, part of what makes it a bargain. Uh, also, it's got these, uh, uh, yeah, the those. So if you're back there, you can watch behind the green door or, uh, you know, the gardening channel or whatever knocks you out. All right, let's have a look under the hood. Give that a go. All right, so under the hood of this thing is this 4.4 liter uh, reworked uh, BMW V8. They've added a couple of turbos. They've upped the horsepower, up the torque. Uh, I want to say 350 on the horse, 420 foot-pounds. Uh, you know, it's a real monster under there. It actually moves this thing down the road. I want to say 0 to 60 in the low 6s for a big heavy sucker like this. That's great. Now, normally you'd look at that engine and you say, oh my God, you know, uh, a BMW 7 Series, it's, oh my God, the maintenance, you know. Man, compared to what a Bentley motor would cost you, it's a veritable bargain. You might as well be maintaining a Honda Accord. So, uh, again, this is something that the average Joe can keep going. And that's part of what makes these green label cars, uh, you know, pretty desirable for, uh, you know, a guy who wants to have 
uh, a Bentley, but doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily have 12 figures in checking. So uh, anyway, there it is. It looks clean and nice under there. It's been very well maintained. It runs like a top. Uh, you know, this is sweet motor. Love the B. Love it. All right, let's have a look inside before it gets too sunny. So uh, here are these beautiful big black leather seats up front. You can see the leather's in very nice shape, no bolster wear, nice and clean, well kept, a continuation of the leather covered wood. And it is proper leather. Let me tell you, it has a nice feel to it. Uh, you know, it's almost sinister a little bit. When you pull up somewhere in this thing, you feel like, uh, you know, what's his name? That Kenny West guy uh, going to, you know, pick up his wife with the big bottom. It's got a nice imposing feel to it. Uh, you can see the nice big chrome uh, strips on the bottom. Uh, the dash, again, the wood become leather. Uh, very, very nice feature. Again, sinister. Uh, you know, I could see some strange uh, Eastern European count, you know, having that done when the car was new just because he felt it, it suited his, uh, you know, dark mood. But uh, either way, uh, this kind of stuff is part of what's going to make this car uh, attainable for, uh, you know, for the rest of us. So let's hop in and go for a spin. All right. So Bentley, of course, historically has the key over here. I'm going to put it in, fire it up. Now, the car needs fuel. I saw that this morning when I fired it up for the first time. But I thought, you know what? The guy who buys this thing needs to be probably get used to seeing the, uh, uh, you know, the fuel gauge. Uh, anyway, so let's get some air conditioning going. We'll turn down this crazy Jensen stereo here and let's see what we got. So. Uh, there you go. Uh, 37,000 miles on the clock. Very, very nice. Nice low miles, and it is true and real. Uh, you've got, uh, let me turn this fan down a little bit. All right, so you have the warnings that come up. It wants service, it wants gas, it's telling you the trunk isn't closed. You're going to have to contend with all that stuff. You're going to get plenty of money off the car for it. But, uh, you know, that's the way it's going to come. And, you know, when I was a kid, there used to be this dealer. I think he had a reality show later. His name was Ted Vernon in Miami. Uh, and, you know, he'd have some of the neatest stuff out there, but in all sorts of varying conditions. And, uh, you know, I'd look at the ads in Auto Trader, you know, the print version, of course, back then, uh, being the dinosaur that I am. And it would say, you know, in 19, you know, 68, uh, Porsche 911, you know, rough around the edges, rips, tears, you know, come get this piece of crap out of my driveway. And it would be some, you know, low price, which was just impressive. So, uh, you know, while this isn't quite on the piece of crap out of my driveway level, uh, it is going to represent a bargain over a competitive vehicle. So keep that in mind. Don't come crying to me about, you know, a check engine light. Well, it doesn't have a check engine light. Don't come crying to me about a trunk open light because the car is going to be priced to, uh, to handle that. Uh, again, very nice uh, black dashboard there. Uh, it's got this insane Jensen stereo in the dash that flips out and up and comes around and up and all over. Uh, you know, it's kind of apropos that it's a Jensen, that of course being a, a British car mark from the 70s that was made out of old tin cans and newspaper. Uh, down here you've got um, uh, BMW's climate control unit. You can see some of the pixels have dropped out there, but uh, you can still see it and use it, no problem. Uh, all kinds of buttons and switches and seat controls and chrome. And uh, this is a little bit phallic the way this works. You have to grab it, you lift it up and pull it back. That gets you in reverse or drive. And uh, anyway, away we go. Now, the sunroof does work. I, oh, God, okay, I'll try. I hate using these things. I'm always afraid they're going to stick open. But anyway, you can see it's working. If it doesn't work the next time, it's on you. Leather-wrapped uh, visors and stuff. You know, that's the thing about Bentley and Rolls. Man, are the materials nice. Like, these little pull knobs for the vents, they are knurled metal. Uh, you know, that is not some kind of plastic crap. That is real hand-built stuff. I love the five gauges there, which are, of course, covered by when that stupid radio is up. But, um, man, there's our fuel light. Uh, but, you know, what a fantastically designed piece. And that is the thing about these cars, man. You are going down the road in this. You are the chairman of the board, let me tell you. When you pull up somewhere and, uh, you know, you're, you know, getting out of it, your sunglasses on, you know, hair slicked back, uh, you know, people whisper, they, they point, they look. Uh, oh, they do not. They just think it's a guy in a Bentley. All right, so when you hammer it, you can hear it goes just fine. So nobody can complain about the V8 in this uh, 
that the BMW V8 in this rolls, it rolls Bentley. It's fine. Tons of horsepower, tons of torque, gets up and moves this thing. I mean, if you really want that big 675, you know, behemoth, uh, you know, with all the repairs that come with it, then knock yourself out. But if you want to actually drive this thing and, you know, have fun with it, then the BMW engine's the way to go. Uh, so again, 1999 BMW, sorry, there I go, 99 Bentley Arnage, uh, what, what will become the green label with the BMW power, uh, triple black rear color combo, uh, you know, got a few, uh, you know, weird little things like the leather over the wood and a couple of warning lights on, and again, we're just not, you know, I'm taking the money off it and selling it that way. Have fun with it. Do what you're going to do. If you want to turn it into a Bentley El Camino, you know, whatever it is you want to do, take this thing and do it. The price is going to be right. You're going to have fun with it. And uh, there it is. So 239-649-7300 on the web at MercedesExpert.com. I should mention that I'm having nice cold air conditioning right now. Very, very chilly. Uh, you can see the car goes down the road smooth, no issues, the transmission shifts perfectly. Um, you know, mechanically, this thing's a top, uh, you know, really nice piece. So, again, 239-649-7300 on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Thank you so much for having a look. We appreciate it, and we'll see you with the next one. Take care.